Hello everyone, welcome to day 25th of August Lead Code Challenge and today's question is sum of square numbers. In this question, we are given a non-negative integer c and we need to tell if this number can be represented in form of a square plus b square where a and b are two positive integers. The question is pretty straightforward and simple and uh, without much ado, let's look at the presentation that I have created for this. We'll dis discuss about the approach and the question there in the presentation. Sum of square numbers lead code 633 and this question seems like a purely mathematical question and this month also seems like a purely mathematical month where most of the questions are around mathematical equations. Yesterday we saw a complex number, today we are seeing this question. So how do we go about it? What's the first thought that comes to your mind? So you assume a a value of the variable a and then correspondingly find out the possible value of b. If b's decimal part turns out to be 0, that means it was a complete whole number and you found one solution. You start from a equals to 0 instead of 1 and you continue up till uh, the value of a is less than square root of c. So a is less than equal to square root of c. This seems like a pretty mathematical way of solving this question. Also, it will have more iterations involved. Can we do something better than this? The answer is yes. How? We will be using two pointer approach to come up with the solution. And let me just give you the flavor of two pointer approach here. How can we use that approach to solve this question? So let's take two variables left and right that we usually do in two pointer approach and to what values will we initialize it? Left would be initialized to 0 and right would be initialized to square root of c. Now what you're going to do, you'll calculate a total of left square plus right square. And if this total happens to be equal to c, you found out one possible way to break c into two parts such that left square plus right square is equal to c and we will return true from it and abort the process. If total happens to be less than c, that means your left value is holding lower amount. That means what you're going to do, you should increment the value of left. Standard way of solving it using two pointer approach. If your total is greater than c, that means you are too far away from C, you have to reduce it. So what you are going to do, you will reduce the value of right, R minus minus. And this is how we'll be able to solve this question. You will keep on building this logic till the time your left is less than or equal to R. Let's just walk through a possible case. Let me just erase everything and let's take c as 89 so what is the value of left what is the value of right left is 0 right is underscore uh, under root of 81 that is 9 so what is left square plus right square left square is 0 right square is 81 81 is lower than 89 so what you are going to do you will increment the value of left left gets incremented to 1 what is the updated total now it is 1 plus 81 which is 82 so 82 is less than c again you'll increment the value of left 4 plus 81 is 85 85 is again less than 89 uh, what you're going to do we'll increment the value of c increment the value of left so left gets updated to 3 3 square plus 81 turns out to be 90 and this value turns out to be greater than c what you're going to do you'll reduce the value of right so right gets reduced to 8 so we have now 3 and 8 what is the square of 3 it's 9 what is the square of 8 square of 8 is 64 64 plus 9 is 73 73 is lower than 89 you'll increment the value of left left gets updated to 4 4 square is 16 what is right right is 8 
8 square is 64. So 64 plus 16 turns out to be 80. 80 is again lower than C. What you're going to do? You'll increment the value of left. Left get updated to 5. You have 25 as its square and 8 square is again 64. So 64 plus 25 is 89 and this is what we were looking for. We will break it as you see that uh, 25 plus 64 turns out to be equal to 89 the value of C that you had and you will return true from it. Had we exhausted all the values left would have become greater than right we would have aborted the process and returned false as soon as we see that this condition is breached. I hope you understood the logic without much ado let's look at the coding section. I have taken two variables here one is left other one is right left is equal to zero right is equal to square root of c and I have typecasted it into integer format till the time my left is less than equal to right that means there is a possibility to find a solution I find out the total if my total happens to be equal to c I abort the process return true if my total is greater than c I deduce the value of right otherwise I increment the value of left in the end I simply return false as my answer let me just submit this accepted I hope you enjoyed today's session if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel Thanks for viewing it. Have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from Coding Decoded. See you tomorrow with another fresh question. Till then, goodbye.